Well, good morning, everybody. April 1st, 2022. Friday morning, very peaceful here in the coast range of Western Oregon. Mary's Peak. Spent a nice evening in the Eugene area, visiting sun number three. And now here we are, me, myself, and I, again, using the Roadside Geology of Oregon, second edition by Marley B. Miller. She has helped, turned me on to this particular outcrop with a moss carpet floor. Some beautiful shotgun shells. <laughs> so I think I will continue up to the top of Mary's Peak if the road is not gated and give you a view from the top. But I did not know of this location. <laughs> well, what else is new? I don't know much about Oregon geology, but again, using Marley's book, Found some stuff. So this looks like a bunch of lava rock. Is it this more Columbia River basalt like I was talking about yesterday? No, it is not. This is Celestia. And there are some beautiful features that I want to go bang on with you. I haven't even been over there yet. But let me, uh, boy. Yeah, let's do this. Let me leave this here. Grab the hammer. Let's go over to the outcrop and prop the book up and read a little bit, and then I'll just kind of wander on this face for us. Don't have the right footwear for this, but we'll go for it anyway. I mean, before I open the book, let's, I don't know, do I need to open the book? Uh, yeah, just a real quick glance. So on page 66 in your hymnal, a side trip to Mary's Peak. Look at Celestia Pillow Basalt. So I'll put the GPS location in the link below so that you can know how to get to this little pullout on the Mary's Peak Road. And this is the view from Marley's photography at the top of Mary's Peak. Might have something similar for you later on in this video. Not sure. But this is the uh, photo that grabbed my attention. Now, I've seen plenty of pillow basalts in the Columbia River basalts. Those are 16 million year old pillows. And the only other place I've seen pillows uh, so far within the Celestia basalt is up on Hurricane Ridge Road uh, in Washington, just south of Port Angeles. But this looked like a pretty nifty photo. Pillow basalt of Celestia exposed in a cross section of the quarry wall, accessed from the parking lot, 3.7 miles up Mary's Peak Road. Yes, so that is. I'll leave the book right here. I won't forget it. Uh, things are moist this morning, but let's just go over here and take a look. And I'll try to be disciplined with my camera so that I'm not zooming around too much for you. Oh, this is impressive. complete with, I'll call it moss, I'm sure there's a more accurate name for it, but complete with moss on the basalt, which we do not have, of course, in eastern Washington. So it's clear from this outcrop that we are closer to the ocean. We are closer to a place that has intense amount of rain here in the coast range. So I have my hammer, so I think I'll break open just a little bit of this pillow, but 
I think most of you are now aware that pillow basalt is exciting because the pillows are interpreted to form when the lava was erupting underwater. Oh yeah. And in the case of these pillows, we are going back between 56 and 51 million years ago when this large igneous province of Silesia was erupting out in the Pacific Ocean. We're looking at this together for the first time. Wow. Cute little pillows. Each of these is a separate pillow basalt structure and the idea, I mean, you might have to Google or in YouTube, you might have to search for pillow basalt formation and you'll see a few kind of impressive video clips of lava crackling its way into water. You know, this is a thousand degrees centigrade lava that, that's, that's trying to make its way in a molten form into the water of the Pacific. We, we have footage of that, rare footage of that off the coast of Hawaii today. And I don't know, there must be other underwater video clips. Are you aware of some of those? Not sure I am actually. But the point is there are analogs today to mafic magma cooling quickly as it deals with the Pacific Ocean water and forming these lobate structures, these pillow shaped fingers crackling their way into the water. Wow, this is a butte right here. A nice old pillow to rest your head. Yeah, I do feel like I'm in Hawaii right now. The moisture in the air, the look of this lava. But the difference, of course, is on the big island of Hawaii, all the lava is less than a million years old, and this stuff is all older than 50 million years old. But the commonality between the big island of Hawaii and here, of course, is its basalt and its lava erupting in the Pacific Ocean. And yes, many now, maybe most geologists who think about Silesia, the also commonality is that there's a Mantle plume, there's a hot spot in the Pacific creating these lavas 56 million years ago, a large igneous province, and today a mantle plume. In the middle of the Pacific creating the Hawaiian Islands. Since I have my hammer, I guess I'll break open a little bit of this uh, sloughed off Silesia basalt to see if I notice anything dramatically different from the basalts of eastern Washington, which again, that's the German chocolate cake. The mineralogy there is similar, but much younger, of course. A few little phenocris to look at, in other words, a few little minerals to see. Let's see if I can get it, can I get it kind of a dry piece? Probably not. We'll try one more here. Yeah, pretty aferic, meaning not many crystals to look at. I'm not sure if that's common for Silesia basalt or not. And you're like, what, what's the point of this? Oh, this is going to give up a fight here. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's nothing there. Huh. My first real careful look, and of course it's very brief, of the uh, crystal size within the crescent with the Celestia basalt. Not many crystals to look at. Okay, I think and we need to finish this little outcrop video here going up a little bit. some pillows from Celestia. Well, I'll sign off here just in case I don't have much of a view at the top. <laughs> Or possibly I'll be at the top and I'll have a few more views for you. And thank you from the quarry. And thank you, Marley Miller, for the tip to look at some Celestia pillow basalts.